the middle of the summer, Matt. What are you doing? I'm so good. I'm just feeling really, really good right now. Made it just in time. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Matt. I'm so glad to have you. I feel like I haven't done a normal, just chill vlog in a while, so I felt like filming today. I'm going to the Cape later today, so I'm gonna have to pack, but I have lots to do before that. So this is gonna be like a productive work day at home. I have some school stuff to do. I have just basic like organization and stuff to do. As you can see, I have so, so many clothes to put away. It's like noonish right now, and so far today I got breakfast with some of my friends because it's the last time I'm gonna see them before they go to college, which literally makes me so sad. Maybe we can talk about that and unpack that a little bit more later, but I'm literally so sad about it, and that's why I want to have a productive day so that I don't have to think about my friends leaving me but yeah I did that and then I had a zoom call for a school thing that I'm working on and now I have the rest of the day ahead of me the first thing that I'm gonna do right now is put away all of these clean clothes I have all of these ones and then this big pile on the floor even though it looks like it's dirty these are all clean too I just forgot to fold them and put them away and this is kind of overwhelming me so let's get this done This day has gotten pretty hectic pretty quickly, so I pushed some of the schoolwork that I had to do today off until tomorrow or during the rest of the weekend. And you guys are probably like, schoolwork, like it's the middle of the summer, Matt, what are you doing? But I've been prepping for some stuff that I'm gonna start up once the school year actually starts, and I also have like my college application stuff that I've been working on. So when I say school stuff, that's what I'm talking about. I focused on some of the more urgent tasks that I had to do today, like the brand that I worked on my morning routine with wanted me to also film a TikTok, so that's what I've been working on this morning. I just filmed that, and I'm gonna get that up tonight. But I'm now packing up my stuff because I forgot I had a Soul Cycle class this afternoon, so I'm gonna bring all of the stuff that I'm bringing to the Cape to the class so that we can leave right from there because Zach's gonna meet me there. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm trying to pack light like I always do, but it never happens, so I'm packing some day outfits, some workout clothes, obviously a bunch of sweatshirts, a bathing suit, and then all of my toiletries and sun stuff. And I'm gonna try and fit it all in these two bags, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm parked outside of my class right now and I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know if you guys could sense the stress in those last clips, but for me, if I'm not super early, I'm late. And especially with all the new protocols for things like this, I feel like I have to get here even earlier because I have to get my shoes, I have to get my temperature taken, I have to set up my bike and do all of that stuff. So. Anyways, moral of the story is I'm here. It's pretty hot out today, so I wanted to make sure I was hydrated for class. So on the way here, I've been sipping on this, which is just water with one of the Noom tablets in it. I think that's how you pronounce it. You can get them at Whole Foods, I know, but they're little hydration tablets that you can just put in water, and this is orange flavored, and it's really good. I brought my big hydro flask, which just has water in it, but I think I'm just gonna bring the smaller one, which has the tablet in it, because I want to stay hydrated. Yeah, I'll do that. I also need to see if my friends are even here yet. Okay, I'll see you after class. Can you speak? Can you stop talking? Can you stop talking? Just got out of my class, and I'm now with Zach and Lily, and we're on our way to the Cape, but that was such an unbelievable class. I feel like I say that every single time I take a spin class, but that one was seriously something different, and I have not felt that good physically in so, so long, so I'm just feeling really, really good right now. I predicted this earlier, but it was so hot underneath the tent, so I'm so glad I brought both water bottles, and especially I'm glad that I had the noon tablets. Those worked really well. There's a sweet green right next to the studio that I went to tonight and since we're gonna be on the road for a little bit now I stopped and got a salad so I'm gonna have this for dinner and we're on our way to the Cape Dream it, real life, I might stay away. Don't sleep in, don't sleep. made it just in time for sunset 
I just took a little shower because since the bathrooms are closed at SoulCycle, obviously, I wasn't able to take a shower after my class and then I immediately got in the car. So that was the first thing I wanted to do when I got here. Also, I wanted to talk a little bit more about something that I mentioned earlier. If you saw my last video, then you would have seen that it was sponsored and it literally blows my mind that I'm at the point of YouTube where I can start working with brands. I never thought I would even reach a thousand subscribers, never mind working with brands. But I wanted to talk about this because this is kind of a touchy subject in the YouTube world. But since I'm still such a small creator, I wanted to talk about this now and kind of set the stage for you guys. I will never work with a brand that I don't genuinely love and use myself and try out myself. That just doesn't even make sense in my mind. And I only have one personal example, but in my last video, I showed you guys a bunch of products and packing for the cave today, I brought all of them with me because I genuinely use them and love them. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I think my point is that I would never risk my credibility to work with a specific brand or to receive free product or just for money. I would never do that. And so now that I'm growing and I have the opportunity to work with brands, which again, blows my mind, I just want you guys to have that in the back of your head that if I suggest a product and that I am being paid to say that or I have received the product, it's because I love it and I chose to do it not just because I'm getting something out of it. Okay, that was a crazy long talk. Back to the actual vlog. Now that I'm out of the shower, I think I'm just gonna hang out. My friend Devin is also in the cape right now, so she might come over and we might do a little movie night or go get ice cream or something. So I'll bring you guys along if we do something, and if not, I will talk to you in the morning because I'm definitely gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Oh, it's Friday. That's exciting. I feel like I always get here on Friday, and so when I wake up, it's Saturday. Anyways, I just went on my morning coffee run. Devin's here, too. I think she just went to grab her sneakers. So basically, our plan is we're gonna get ready for the beach, and then we're gonna go work out, get a good sweat in, and then immediately go to the beach and swim instead of showering. So that's what I'm getting ready for right now. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you've been in vlogs before. Yeah, of course. You've been like in the little parts, but you've never like actually been in a vlog. Is this in fast motion? No. Like I literally don't even know what to say. I'm dripping sweat right now. We went on a two mile run and then we did this leg workout that Devin has. She has like this workout routine that we're gonna start doing. So I'm excited about that and day one was very hard. Now we're going to get ready for the beach and go for a swim. home from the beach and Devin just left so I think I'm gonna get some work done now even though I don't really want to but I had a nice relaxing afternoon on the beach and I feel like I've been doing a good job balancing my schedule when I'm on Cape I feel like I have a good mix between going to the beach and just hanging out and not really having a serious schedule but then also making time to do work and have more of a scheduled day I got breakfast with Devin we went to the beach I took an outdoor shower just laid around for a while and now I think I'm gonna do some editing and then maybe some essay work too for college stuff which speaking of that I'm wondering what your guys thoughts on this I started kind of a college series back in January when I went and toured some schools in Washington DC and I was really excited about that and then the whole pandemic thing happened and I haven't really been able to well obviously I haven't traveled because of it so I haven't been able to go see more schools but I'm wondering if you guys would want to see more about like the actual application process and how I'm handling that and I feel like it would just be cool for me to capture the next few months so that when I'm older I can look back at it and be like whoa you were intense. I'm definitely not going to be doing a lot of traveling, but I will be doing a lot of work. So let me know if you want to see that. I still have some of my coffee from earlier, which I'm happy I didn't drink all of it because just the taste of coffee gets me in a productive mood. So I'm going to sip on this and get started. Ooh, so good. Oh my God, I just spilled it on my white shorts. 
update. I planned out the rest of my weekend and a little bit of the upcoming week, and then I also did some essay work, but I think that's good for tonight. It's a hood up type of night. I am so tired. As you can see by the outside, it is later now, and I really have done nothing since the last time that I talked to you besides scroll through TikTok, so that's good. It's time for dinner. I don't really know where any of my family is, so I'm just gonna make some food for myself, and I'm gonna have my rice pasta, one of my favorite meals ever. These ones are the little spirals, which for some reason taste so good, like better than the other shapes. Hey, hey guys. guys! Wait, how do you zoom in? Ice cream cafe! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Yeah, it's probably so zoomed, I'm terrified. I'm back with my Lily view. Hey guys! Hey everyone! It's so good. Is it? Mm. I haven't taken my first bite yet. Okay, disregard that. My camera just ran out of space, but we're at the Ice Cream Cafe, which is this ice cream place on Cape, and they have really good dairy-free ice cream, I guess. And Lily has been here a bunch of times, but Maggie told me about this place last summer, and I still haven't tried it, because that was when I did my six months dairy-free, but I never ended up getting it then, but dairy kind of still messes me up, so I got dairy-free tonight, and I'm really excited. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so good. I feel like sometimes with dairy-free ice cream or like vegan pastries, like you can tell they use different stuff because it's obviously not real like dairy. But this tastes honestly better than some ice cream, like normal ice cream. Are they full M&Ms? Mm-hmm. That's kind of fun. I am. There's so much going on in mine. I have Heath Bar. Oh. And then Reese's Pieces and Oreos. Damn. Boom. I got a little Heath moment. That was good. You guys, that ice cream was so good. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over it. I'm home now, just laying in the basement, and I think I might watch some um, YouTube on this big TV. This is like my favorite thing to do when I'm here. And I also brought my laptop down, so I might do some editing. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment, all of the good stuff. Hope you're having a good day or night, and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye, everyone. I'm mad to see don't hate me. Oh my god, that was so good. Oh my god. Cut the cameras.